Are you running out of energy after a busy summer season in the Northern Hemisphere? Or do you need a boost in time for the new season in the Southern Hemisphere? Or are you a new business owner or someone aspiring to set up your own glamping business and you want to hit the ground running? Well, if this is you, then you need to know about these two big events in the glamping business calendar. And if you're going to take your business seriously, then you need to attend. Are we there? Will you? Welcome to the podcast. Glamping and unique holiday rentals are surging in popularity with the growing desire of customers to book holidays that deliver an experience. They are also the new business of choice for those wanting to improve their work-life balance. So how do you build a strong business like this that gives you the life you need and a great investment? I'm Sarah Riley and I want to share what I've discovered after being immersed in this industry for over 20 years to inspire you to find out more about what's going on. Welcome, this is the business of glamping and unique holiday rentals. Hello and welcome to the podcast. It's so fantastic for you to join me. I'm incredibly grateful. It's really nice to read all of your comments about the podcast and how you're finding the information that I'm sharing here and that my guests are sharing here. And I am so happy that it's really hitting the nail on the head. You need help. I'm happy to give it to you and others are happy and willing to share their valuable advice too and if we can all help support each other in this industry then it can be something so nurturing and it can be something so supportive and I think that's important because industries especially at the beginning and this is a very new industry glamping unique accommodation it's a new industry it's not really been around before in small pockets here and there yes but it's really seeing a tipping point and what I'd like to see is an industry that's supportive of each other they're not afraid of competition they want to work in partnership with each other and they want to help each other along you know there are pitfalls there are things that go wrong and it's so lovely when people come together and become a supportive community and I'm really seeing that in my Facebook group at the moment just so many people willing to answer questions to give advice and to be so helpful and generous with their time. And for me, I think it's quite unique to this industry. That's what I believe anyway. And certainly if you think you see it in other industries, then let me know. I'd be really excited and interested to hear about them. But I think it is very unique to the glamping industry. There are quite a few uh, smaller businesses in this industry, and I suppose they've feel the owners feel that they're a little bit on their own and so when we all come together as a community and help each other then that helps to stop that so people feel they have a support system a place to go to vent to talk about things that went right and things that went wrong to ask about questions to explore ideas to get an idea uh, about their own business ideas and see if others think they might float or if they might sink that kind of feedback is so valuable and I love the fact that I have that here in at the podcast with your fabulous comments and reviews that you've been giving so far and also in the Facebook group and we're members in my in my own community on my own website in inspired courses and for me that's precious and I'm going to nurture that as much as possible and one of the places that I find a very valuable place to nurture those relationships and make those connections is at two of the biggest events in the glamping business calendar now These two events I have been involved in since the very beginning, from the very start, and I have been so honoured to be involved in them and very grateful to the organisers for pulling me on board. Now, with all of these things, it's always a risk to take part in something that's new. And I'm happy to say that this risk has paid off because these two events are incredibly professionally organised 
The people behind them are so lovely and supportive and a real group of hardworking individuals that just want to do their best, as we all do. And they have produced some outs two outstanding events and I'm very happy to support them and I'm very happy to talk to you about them now. Now, one of them is in the UK and the other one is in the USA and both are definitely worth attending if you're in the glamping industry. So first of all, as the, the one in the UK is happening first, I'm gonna talk about that one. And this is the glamping show. And the glamping show is in the UK at Stoneleigh Park Showground. Now this show is a trade show. And what it has is a huge exhibition area where people are able to show what they do for their own business. So they, if they're selling tents, if they're saf selling safari tents, if they're selling uh, shepherd's huts, uh, anything else from fire pits to accessories inside, new designs, new glamping and modes of glamping that no one's ever seen before. This is where they go to show that. And this trade show is, is immense, it's big. And it's also, the exhibition areas are fabulous because they're so large and they're outside. So you can experience the tents and the other structures out in the elements. And often it rains in the UK as we know, and so when it rains, it's great to be inside to know what it feels like, what it smells like, what it sounds like, you know, what's the impact of that weather on the materials of the thing you're thinking of buying. But you also have a real chance to touch those materials, to see what they're like, to have an experience. Nothing is better than the experience of standing inside one of these structures fully up so that you can actually see what it looks like, how big it is, what it smells like, everything. All of your senses, you can answer all of those questions that you have. And the people at the trade show who are actually there to talk about their products and services are really great, and very friendly, and they can give you heaps and heaps and heaps of advice. And one of the things I often hear from people who have visited this show, and they say they learned so much and they just had so many notebooks, they filled them all up and they felt a bit, you know, they had to go home and process the information they'd got so much. And it was really worthwhile going to the show to really get everything they needed in one hit. It saved them a lot of time, a lot of energy, because it was all there in one place. Now the event goes over three days and those three days there's a chance to be able to look at the exhibit areas, to attend some small uh, seminars. These are small seminars where you'll get maybe 20 minutes with the speaker to be able to talk about certain things. And these seminars are great for a light touch bit of information but if you need some deeper information on specific subjects then there are some longer, um, more detailed workshops where the experts will show you exactly what you need to do and give you detailed steps about what you need to do. So these are kind of how-to workshops. So I'm gonna be there, I'm gonna be uh, providing a seminar and I'm also going to be providing a workshop. Now my seminar is all about, if you build it, will they come? This is about the fact that in my time in the glamping industry, one of the things I have always found is that people spend so much time and energy designing, thinking about, getting planning permissions and other permissions for their site and setting it all up. They don't put that much time into marketing their services and getting their guests. They don't develop their guest attraction strategy. They don't think about how they're going to get people to actually purchase vacations with them and then they open up their amazing service that they've spent so much time and passion developing and they suddenly realize they haven't got the bookings they wanted. It's a bit of a panic at the last minute when people realize that they need to do something about getting those bookings in place and occupancy a bit higher. So that's what I'm going to be talking about. If you build it, will they come? But I'm also going to be talking about a growth and visibility workshop and this is following on in more detail about how an owner or a host of a glamping site can actually make 
their business more visible in the open market so it starts to attract customers immediately and that that grows and their business grows with it. We all want to have growth. We don't want to see a business that is reducing in growth. That's not a good path to be taking. So my workshop gives detailed steps on how to achieve that. And I'm really excited to share this because a lot of what I'm covering has never been talked about openly in this industry before. It's not been openly talked about at all. And I've been working on this for a year and I love the fact that I'm able to share this with people. It's very exciting. It's based on new methods, new techniques and new technology that is moving in this industry. And I'm super excited about that. So the glamping show is happening on the 19th, 20th and 21st of September this month. And it's going to be epic. I'd love to see you there. Find out more information by going to the show notes for this podcast. So you go to inspirecamping.com forward slash 017 as this is episode 17. So the next one I need to talk about is the Glamping Summit in the USA. How exciting. So this is in October and this is the 22nd and 23rd of October. And it's happening in Arapahoe County Fairgrounds in Aurora, Colorado. I hope I got the pronunciation right. I'm sorry, I'm very British and I may well have got that all wrong. But what I haven't got wrong is that this is a great show that is held over two days and it's going to have exhibits and also a conference. Now, this is uh, free to get into the exhibit side of the event. The conference is a pay to attend conference, but both are well worth it. There are experts coming from around the globe to talk about so many things that can help you start up and grow your glamping business in this industry. It is well worth attending. I will be there again and I can't wait. I'm so excited. Every single year I, or every single event, I went twice last year, is going to just inspire you like it's inspired me. It really has been fantastic. So this event, it has a whole mixture of things and a massive opportunity for people to network over the two days that they're there and to really immerse themselves in all things glamping in the USA, to find out about permissions needed, techniques specific for this part of the world, but also the amount of people that I met there at the last two events that came from Australia, that came from Africa, that actually came all the way from the UK to find out what was going on in the USA and if they could tap into those markets and everything else. This was a real exploratory time for people. And I was really excited to be able to meet those people that I've been working with over the internet virtually for so many years. And finally, because of this event, I was able to actually meet them face to face. And that is just so special to be able to meet people face to face that you've been communicating with for so long. And you know, it's great. It's great to have those relationships and I absolutely value them. And that's why I'm going to be flying across the world to be able to go to the Glamping Summit and I'm very excited to do so. And if you are able to attend, I would definitely recommend you do that. Not only will you be able to speak to people in the trade in that part of the world and get some brilliant information from them and be able to pick their brains about what you really need to know. But you'll also be able to take part in the conference section where you'll be able to speak to experts and benefit from what they have to share. Now, I'm going to be sharing on both days of the conference. I'm really excited to share some feedback from people who I have generated relationships with over my time of being in this industry. Now, I asked them two very valuable questions. What I wish I'd known before starting my glamping business. And if I had to start this again, what would I do first to have the most impact quickly? 
I'm going to be sharing all the answers I got to those questions at my session on day one. The people I've spoken to have been so generous with what they've talked about and they have also given some amazing key points little keys, little snippets that could really open doors for you and your own business adventures. So if you want to learn more, come along to that session. And on the second day, I'm going to be talking about customer and guest attraction techniques no one is talking about yet. And again, these are techniques that no one has mentioned and I'm so excited to talk about them because actually getting them in place now means that you'll be ahead of the curve, you'll be ahead of the crowd. And that's important for these particular techniques, getting there first. We all know that early adopters, those people who get these things started first are the ones that reap the most rewards and gain the most benefits. Exactly the same thing happened when glamping suddenly started and the word was came out of nowhere. And suddenly those people who have embraced it and actually started this from the beginning are very well set up and strong in this industry. And it means that they've been able to ride any waves of fluctuations within the economy and customer buying behavior, but also around promotions. If you get there first, you'll be the one that will be listed at the top of Google. You'll be the one that will be listed at the top of these other new technologies that will help you boost your business quicker. So these are things I'll be sharing only at these two events. I'm really hoping you're going to join me there. Again, if you need any more information at all, then go to inspiredcamping.com forward slash 017 because that's the show notes with all the links that you need to click and find out more about these two events and everything else that I've talked about today. So today was a very quick show, but sometimes that's the way it is. I'm definitely, definitely putting more time aside in the future. I've had a bit of time off recently to be able to take time out for my business and take time out for myself and my family. But now I'm back and now I'm eager to get on. So I've got some really exciting topics and interviews lined up for you over the coming weeks and I'm excited to share. So if you want to find out more information, then go over to inspiredcourses.com. And if you want to take part in the quiz that I have, to help you understand if you're cut out to run a glamping business then all you need to do is put a slash quiz at the end of that url and then if you want some free resources do the same and just put slash resources and that will take you to the place where you can download all of that i'm excited to be here i'm excited for what i've got lined up for you i can't wait to give you more of what i'm going to learn over the coming months myself when i go to these two events and the people that i talk to i'm super excited i hope you are too See you soon.